Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is function chaining in C++? So you might have heard about this or you might not have heard about this but still yeah let's go we'll see how this will work. So function chaining is nothing but it looks like this you will be having chain of functions like you are having one object you are calling some function on that then again you are calling some function on that and then again you are calling on some function and then you might be calling again and again and again. So this is like chaining the functions, okay? And to achieve this, you just only need to return this reference, okay? We use function chaining just because we want some kind of intuition that in order to complete this one, like setting B, first you have to set A, okay? Then only you should go for setting B. Or in order to print this object, you must have set both the variables. So this is some kind of message to the user or the developer who is going to read your code or something. This is some kind of message to that guy. Okay. You could have achieved the same thing by just simply writing like this. Like uh, you are writing b dot set a and uh, setting some phi here and then again b dot set b and setting 19 in that and then b dot print okay so this is also the same thing okay but this is not showing that there has to be some sequence because maybe developer can insert any number of code here or do something with this b which he is not allowed to do or we can say he should not do okay so to give that kind of message we simply use this function chaining okay that is a good way to give this kind of message that please call this function first after that you call this function then only you should call this function i am taking very trivial example here but you can think of any great example where first you need to set some variable then only you should like perform some another operation okay or let's suppose you are doing some animation uh, and uh, first you want to animate something like b dot animate this one let's say animate one and then after that you want to do animate two okay and then again animate three so like this and uh, and on and on and on so in that situation this function chaining comes very handy okay so there could be lots of ways you can think of this function chaining could be useful and again to say if you want to achieve function chaining, you need to return the reference of your original pointer. Okay. So first of all, this B calling this set A function where you are passing this 5. So this 5 is being assigned to this A and in completion of this function, you are returning this and this tree reference means you are pointing at the object itself and you are returning the reference of that object okay why reference just because maybe you want to change that particular object and as you can see you are changing only the particular object let's suppose if you are not returning by reference that then what could be the output of this so first we'll go and check the output of this program okay it would be 5 and 19 only but still we can check that so i will just simply compile this what is the name app2.cpp here and uh, we'll just simply run this so as you can see a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 19 just in case you are not returning by reference here now let's see what will happen here okay we'll just simply compile and check and the output is same here it is not giving the difference actually but let me call this print function again okay so here we'll get the difference now yeah see b was called here b dot set a so 5 was set and the object was returned here the copy of object was created okay and now you are calling that set b on that copy of the object okay not the b itself so after that you are setting 19 on the copy not the actual object okay and after that you are printing so in that situation you are printing the actual value okay but when you are coming and printing b again which should have 5 and 19 both but in this case it won't have both because when this set a was setting this 5 that time it didn't return the actual object here the copy of the object was created okay so that's why 19 was set to the copy of the object which is nothing but the temporary object that's why it is showing 0 here okay so this is how we deal with function chaining and you should always return with reference only okay so that you won't end up doing something which is really a problematic so see if you are changing with this reference 
you are having this correct output okay all the time so i think i'm done here thanks for watching bye bye